assassins, sir, as in more than one. That's right. And you heard this from the mouth of a crocodile. His name is Killer Croc. He's already behind bars. Oh, I pity his cellmate. I don't. Let's see what else is on the drone's hard drive. Each of them gets one of these envelopes. I need them delivered tonight. They're all hired killers, the best in the business. Black Mask isn't messing around. Slade Wilson, Deathstroke, former military, subject of a failed medical experiment. Failed, you said? Garfield Lenz, aka Firefly, burns on 90% of his body. His obsession is going to be his end. How unlike anyone I know. Here's a face I don't recognize. Copperhead. Strange. His reports reference a male, not a female. Fourteen escapes, huh? Well, you won't do this now. What the... Floyd Lawton, a.k.a. Deadshot. Really? Says here he's an expert sharpshooter. How on earth? Suspected of many assassinations. Dangerous, but reckless. Street tough named Lester Baczynski. Calls himself Electrocutioner. Shocking. Shiva. Her skill is unmatched. inside the prison. He uses torture for intimidation and entertainment. Eight assassins after your head. What are you going to do? <laughs>
I expect you'll be worth every penny of that 50 million. Doing good then. It's doing good at Dim Plus Y. I'm going to get it.
Dude, I'm not waiting. I pressed Y.
I should hurry to Lacey Towers before the cops destroy all the evidence from the crime scene Penguin mentioned. I was hoping to get a minute of your time. See, I've got a story to tell you about crime and violence, greed and vengeance. But it's also a story of redemption, of second chances, of change. I've planted three bombs where Gotham's corruption is at its strongest. But unlike those I fight to overthrow, I believe in choice. So, I offer you one. Let them detonate or stop them. Your actions will determine what I do with you. I've planted three bombs where Gotham's corruption is at its strongest. But unlike those I fight to overthrow, I believe in choice. For you, let the detonate or stop the ship. Thank <laughs> you. 
cops investigating this crime should have a relay station set up. Don't look like a mobile satellite dish. It's probably on a rooftop. Advantage if I can't tap into the cops' communications. I should hack the mobile relay station. Rubio, what's your 20? On the balcony for a smoke with a menace. There's men on the balcony. <laughs> that could be my way in. Yeah, we got Penguin now. Like to see him squirm out of this one. Fingerprints, two dead bodies. We're about to do some time. believe Penguin murdered Black Mask, but why would he send me here if he was the killer? It doesn't add up. I can reconstruct the crime scene with the evidence scanner. took place days ago. The fire and the exposure to the elements make identifying the victims difficult. The male victim is wearing a black mask, but I can't positively identify him as Roman Sionis without a DNA analysis, something I can't do in the field. I can identify the female victim based on her fingerprints. Tiffany Ambrose, Roman Sionis's girlfriend, or one of them at least. She was no angel, longest of priors, but nothing to indicate she was the target here. The fire spread as a result of a Molotov cocktail thrown into the room. It may have been intended to destroy evidence. shallow trajectory of the bullet suggests the shooter could be someone of Penguin's height. But the grooves on the floor suggest that the victim was killed by someone leaning back in a chair. This bullet was fired from a revolver. A 
ballistics analysis indicates a low angle of trajectory. The shooter could have been someone of Penguin's height, but the pattern in the gunpowder residue suggests the bullet was actually fired by someone lying on the ground. Trying to blend. <laughs> These fingerprints are a match for the penguin, but they're on top of the soot from the fire. The cops were right. Penguin was in the room. His prints prove he was here after the murders were committed. If he didn't kill Black Mask, who did? The only thing I know for certain is that Tiffany's shooter was lying on the floor. But why? These white streaks are shoe polish. Whoever shot Tiffany was being dragged along the floor. Besides the victims, there were two other people in the room. Tiffany's shooter and whoever was dragging the shooter. The location from which the male victim was shot may tell me more. to see if I can learn anything more about either the intruder or the shooter. Fabric analysis indicates the intruder was wearing a white suit or sport jacket. This fabric swatch could help identify the intruder, but I still can't identify the male victim's shooter. There's one impact area I haven't checked for clues. This DNA is from the female victim. The level of oxidation suggests it's been here for several days. If I review the evidence, I may be able to find out what she was doing when she was attacked. She was sending text messages to Roman Sionis about someone named the Joker. Someone killed Black Mask. But this crime took place several days ago, and I saw Black Mask earlier tonight. The answers I have raise more questions. Who is the Joker? Was he the killer here? Or is he one of the assassins? I have a body, an unknown shooter, and an unknown assailant who attacked the shooter. I need to match the DNA sample to get the records in the National Criminal Database to identify who was in the room. Alfred, I need access to the National Criminal Database. Well, the only way to do that would be to infiltrate the Gotham City Police Department. Then that's where I'm going. Sir, you'd need to physically hack into their servers. If you insist on doing something that foolish, you'll need a powerful non-lethal weapon. I recommend coming back here to pick up your concussion detonator. Not a bad idea.
Welcome home, sir. The concussion detonator is on your workbench. Remember, if you use that instead of your fists, you'll do less lasting damage to those police officers and civil servants. Noted. your chance to walk away.